Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Just sitting here waiting for some guests to arrive. Uh, house is fully, completely clean. I've got on a proper shirt and um, eh, not quite sure what time their flight comes in so I'm just on standby, but I'm ready to go. So everything's moved up to the cabin and uh, as soon as they get here and I get them settled in, um, I will be moving up to the cabin for the weekend. Um, anyhow, I, this one kind of uh, popped into my head last night or I was kind of in this train of thought last night as I, right after I went to bed and started to unwind and uh, was watching a couple of videos before I went to um, went off to Netflix land and I you know I one thing led to another and I just got it like I say train of thought was going in my head and I started thinking about um, you know just different things, just kind of randomly different things that kind of reinforced uh, kind of the message that I'm going to talk about in this video. And um, whether and this video is about life, it's, you, it can be applied to food, certainly. Uh, it can be applied to so many things, but, you know, life is problem solving. I've said that in videos before. And yes, you do what you can do. Somebody was always going to point out, well, I can't do this in my circumstances. Well, yeah, Pookie, you're just pointing out the obvious. We can all only do what we can do within our circumstances. So eh, I speak in generalities and I understand there are always exceptions, but basically life is boiled down to problem solving. You identify, you, it, basically it's all about identifying what doesn't serve you and eliminating what doesn't serve you. There doesn't have to be a whole lot of talk about it. There's not a whole lot of process to it. It's two step process, identifying, eliminating. It's simple as that. Um, where it comes to food, um, people pretty much know, and you know, you know, it's just kind of like just playing around, going round and round and round, thinking maybe, you know, kind of like the quote, which I don't think it was Einstein, uh, the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I think a lot of times with the food part of it, people just kind of keep doing the same things and they, they don't eliminate what they know they need to eliminate and it just kind of keeps keeps coming back to bite them in the ass. Um, there are certain things in our food, in our life, in uh, everything we do that just don't serve us. And um, and like I say, you know, every, we live we're we're not perfect beings. I'm not a perfect being. We do this. Only you can decide what you can put up with and what you can't. But know that it is always a two-step process: identifying and eliminating. Um, with the food, you know, it's, uh, there's kind of that battle always, you know, there's food, people talk about food addictions and they have cravings and they have this and that. And that's why with a lot of the cravings and the addictions, they have to be traded like addictions and cravings. And when, when you're try when you have these, uh, things that you know are not good for you, keeping them in your life, in your body. Um, you're gonna just keep craving them. You're always gonna want them, um, and, and they're gonna trip you up. Um, now, when it comes, when it's applied to a little bit broader sense, when it's applied to life, um, it, and it, as it comes to people, I kind of got on this thought last night, or because yesterday afternoon um, I went back to a conversation I was having with someone, and I was telling them I really don't even know. Like I've done such a good job of withdrawing from places this year online um and unfollowing people uh not watching near the number of videos i've, I've way 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 less youtube videos than i have in the past so i just don't even see this drama i don't get caught up in it and i just noticed even though it doesn't bother me like that that stuff some people are very sensitive and it bothers them or whatever it doesn't really bother me like that it's just it doesn't serve me and it's just garbage it's mind garbage and i don't you know what quite honestly and i'm not embarrassed to tell you i'd rather watch a soap opera or a spanish novella if i want to get my drama then watch a bunch of little uh, vegans that aren't really that entertaining having their little dramas i just zero interest to me um, so yeah, I've eliminated, I, I've eliminated so much of that. I don't see that on my feed every day. And even though it didn't bother me a whole lot, I just have realized like now that we're getting into uh, close to the last quarter of the year next month that, um, I've just really enjoyed not seeing any of this stuff this year. Just really enjoyed not seeing any of it. I don't need to see any of it. So, 
Um, there's eliminating things like that sources like now some people for some people it is eliminating um, certain things on TV movies whatever I don't have a problem with that um, and you know it's about what serves you and about what doesn't serve you uh, some people <laughs> I don't think can quite line up that I listen to gangster rap I listen to hard stuff I listen to I listen to metal I listen to bang I mean I I listen to stuff that's not all your soothing gentle stuff which I listen to that too and as far as violence in movies, that's, that's make-believe. I mean, I don't watch a ton of uh, commercial type stuff, but um, yeah, that's not, that's not my thing that bothers me. But, you know, it was just like seeing this constant bickering. It's more annoying than anything else. If you've ever been around people that are constantly bickering with each other, Jesus Christ, that would just drive you absolutely insane. And then it comes to people. I mean, I know people. What know what people are going to say before they even say it. it? Well, you can't eliminate everybody out of your life. Well, that's true, but maybe it's eliminating the exposure you have. If there's people in your life that um, you know that are not serving you well, actually, they're a detriment to your life. They're a negative in your life. Maybe you have some obligation to be around them. Well, you do what you can do. You eliminate as much time around the person as possible. But, uh, you know, other than a work situation or unless you have some very, I mean, I guess if it's your mama or something, like even if my mama gave me a hard time on this lifestyle or whatever, she's my mama. So, you know, there are certain people, yes, I do understand. But most people that people say they got to keep around, they're just kind of, you know, they just lack the balls to get rid of them or, or just like drop out of their lives, you know. And a lot of it, some of it's in real life, but a lot of it is on social media. I hear people all the time. I'm like, well, you don't, like this person bugs you all the time. They're complaining about people that are their friends on Facebook or people that say things. Eliminate them. That's your real estate. That's your online real estate. Get rid of them. So just to wrap up and not just to kind of keep repeating myself, just, just realize that's what life can, to a large extent, life can be that simple. Identification elimination just remember that little trick in life um, in different things that you do and it might give you a little peace it might give you a little freedom it might make you realize that you have more control than you think anyhow just kind of one of those weekend videos just a little bit of a ramble here so uh hope you guys like this one if you like it give me a thumbs up hope you'll subscribe and i hope you are having a wonderful weekend peace